I feel like I'm sideways. I think I broke my tripod. I kept like bending it as I was filming. Anyway, hi guys. Um, I'm here today with a Makeup Mayhem highlighter video for you. This video is going to be extremely long. I just got done filming the actual like video portion of it. You know what I mean, like the actual like going through the highlighter portion. Um, if you've never seen one of my Makeup Mayhem videos, it's basically where I go through my collection of whatever category we're talking about. And I show you what's in my collection. I kind of give backstory on some of the products like, you know, oh, I love this or this I don't love as much, whatever. Um, and I try to get rid of stuff. Today I didn't do good at all. I feel like I got rid of like four highlighters. But I just, I have a thing for highlighters and I don't want to get rid of any of them. So I don't really have to, right? Like I already have them, so I just want to hold on to them. Um, hopefully I didn't forget anything. I have highlighters like everywhere. I have in my Alex drawers the ones that I don't use as often. And then up here I have my favorites and I, you know, I just have stuff like strewn everywhere. So hopefully I didn't miss anything. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I did film a look. I mean, I did film a video on this look. This is like my super quick go-to like five minute makeup. Um, the video will still probably be like 20 minutes long, but I did film this. Every time I wear this look, which is just like out the door makeup, it takes me no time at all to do. I always have people ask me to do a tutorial. So if that's up, I will link it down below. If not, it'll probably be my next video going up. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. If you guys are ready for some highlighter overload, strap on those panties and let's do this. Okay, hopefully that is in focus. So we're gonna start with this drawer. This stuff is all irrelevant. This right here, these are my um, liquid illuminators. So I'm just going to go through and show you guys what's in here. Okay, so I have a What's Up from Benefit. They actually just sent me a new one. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one because I've had it for way too long. So she's going to go. And then I have NARS Copacabana, which I honestly don't use as much as I should. Wait, let me focus you guys a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't use this one as much as I should, but it really is so pretty. I just don't use liquid illuminators or like cream illuminators that often. So I'm still going to keep her though because I just have a problem. Oh, you stay in there. Um, these two I think are actually, oh no, these are highlighters also. These are from Cargo. Um, I think I might give these away because I never ever use them. And then these Smashbox ones, I haven't had enough of a chance to really try these. These are the LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color, Silver Lake Sunset, and Hollywood and Highlights. I am going to hang on to these because I want to give them a shot. I haven't really, like I said, used them enough. Then I have a little Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, which I am keeping because I love these. These are my favorite liquid illuminators, the Becca ones. I have a Gerard BB Plus Illumination. I still feel like you guys aren't in focus. Is that better? I'm sorry. Um, I really love this mixed with foundation. It's so pretty. Such a good liquid like cream illuminator. And then I have the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. I don't even know if they still make these, but I'm going to hang on to these because these are an awesome dupe for the Becca ones. So if I do like a drugstore or anything, I always refer back to these. So definitely keeping them. Oh, and then I have the Sonia Kashuk Shimmering Sand, I think this is called. Hang on. Sparkling Sand. This is a really nice drugstore illuminator, so I'm definitely keeping that. I'm going to get this one out because I want to use this guy. And then I have this Flower Beauty one that I think one of my subscribers sent me and I never really used it, so I should probably get this out and give it a go. And then I have um, a couple of the Becca, let me pull them over so you guys can see them, the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfectors. So I have Opal, Moonstone, and Rose Gold. I love mixing these with foundation. They look so pretty, like in the summer mixed into foundation. Love these, we'll never ever part with them. They're stunning. And then I just have smaller versions. This was a little set that was available at Christmas time. Um, yeah, 
definitely not getting rid of that. And then I just have some random, like I have a baby What's Up from Benefits. I have this Girlactic Face Glimmer in Pink Diamond, which is gorgeous on. And then the Smashbox Halo Highlighting Wand, which I've never tried. So I'm going to get this one out and give it a try. Okay, I changed the focus. Is that better? Okay, this is it. This Smashbox Halo Highlighting Wand. I'm getting her out, as I said. Okay. Oh, and then I do have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Illuminating Beauty Balm. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I don't use it that often, but I kind of want to hang on to it. Oh, I'm not doing very good, you guys. I'm keeping it. Okay, so that's it for this drawer. And then the next drawer is powder highlighters. Okay, so we're going to be focusing back here. These are all blushes. These are all powders, which this will happen in another Makeup Mayhem video. We are focusing back here. Sorry if you guys are like really far away. Um, I have a bunch of the Gerard... Um, what are they called? Star powders. I think I have every single one of them. They're really pretty. I'm going to hang on to these just because like I have all of them. I go back to these, you know, I'll pull them out and use them every so often. Um, they're not like super, super in your face, like hardcore highlighting, which is what I tend to go for. That's why I don't keep them out all the time, but they are really nice. And then I have the beauty bar baby. These are loose ones. Um, these are gorgeous, really, really pretty, but they're loose and they're a little bit messy, so I just kind of keep them in here and I'll grab them whenever I need them. And then I have MAC Soft and Gentle, which, I don't know, this is just not my favorite. I feel like on the skin it's just, meh, you know, it's nothing special, but I'm going to keep it just because it's soft and gentle and I feel like I need to have it in my collection. Um, I have two of the NYX Illuminators, which I actually think I'm going to get rid of these because I never, ever, ever use them. Let me show you guys what the shades are. So this one is actually more of a blush topper. This one is in the shade Magnetic. This is really pretty. Ooh, but that has like chunks of, I don't know if that's glitter or what. You know what? I'm going to keep this one out and play with it because that one's actually really pretty. This one is in the shade Ritualistic. I don't know, I just didn't like the way this one looked on my skin. It looked very powdery. So I'm going to get rid of this guy. And I have the Maybelline Master Highlight, which I actually really like this. This one's in the shade Nude. This is gorgeous. This is one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. It is so pretty on. It has like a little bit of a peachy nude vibe. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's really good. So I'm keeping that. And I have this loose one from Ofra in the shade Pink Sapphire. Um, because this is loose, I feel like it's just messy. But it's a beautiful, like, pinky-toned highlighter. I don't usually love pink-toned ones, but this one has a nice, almost like a champagne undertone. So I, this works for my skin. And then I have the Bare Minerals Illuminating Mineral Veil. Um, I really don't use this that often. I probably should get rid of this. Yeah, we'll get rid of that guy. And then these three, I have two from Essence. So these are the So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighters. I never ever use these, so I'm going to donate them to a friend. And then the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Pink Diamonds. I'm going to hang on to this one. It's really pretty, and it's e.l.f., and I love e.l.f. And then I have this Sonia Kashuk Arabian Dreams Sahara Sunset Highlighter. This was probably like $20, and this thing is not that good. I'm so disappointed that I spent money on this. It just doesn't, I don't know. I mean, the color's really pretty, but I feel like on the skin, it's just a little bit too, like, orangey toned. It just doesn't look right as a blush. It doesn't look right as a highlighter or a bronzer. It's just an odd shade, so I'm going to get rid of this. And then I have the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, which is so pretty, but I was disappointed with this as well. It's just not... I don't know, you guys. Like, look at that. It's just powdery. It's just not that exciting. Eh. I'm keeping it though because, I mean, it was kind of expensive and I think these are limited edition. So, yeah, I'm going to hang on to it just 
because. And then this Natasha Denona Face Glow Cream Shimmer in 01 Light. I'm going to keep this out and use it because I just got this and I haven't really had the chance to play around with it. But it's a really pretty cream highlighter. So we're going to use that guy. I have these two Lorac 3D Liquid Lusters. I don't think they make these anymore. I'm pretty sure they discontinued them. They're really neat though. One is gold and one is silver and you kind of just like tap it on your lid or as a highlighter and it just gives you this really pretty like glow and sheen. But they're kind of weird and mine are starting to dry out. Oh crap. I'm probably going to have to get rid of them because they're super old. But I don't want to because they don't make them anymore and they're so pretty. Okay, I'll decide on them. And then I have this one from Quo. This one is more of a bronzer. This shouldn't even be in here or like a blush. But I'll show it to you while we're here. This one's in the shade Subtly Bronze. Subtly? That's a weird word. Anyway, this one should be over here. And then I have two from Cover Effects. One is in Moonlight. This guy is in the shade Moonlight. And this one is Sunlight. Oh, that's cool. Moonlight and Sunlight. So that's what they both look like. These are very subtle. Almost just like, they kind of remind me of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I don't know if I'm going to hang on to these. I'm going to set these out and I will decide. I think I may donate them to my mom because she likes highlighters like that. Like very soft, subtle ones. This is the Physician's Formula Natural Nude. This is my all-time favorite drugstore highlighter. I need to pull this out and use it. This is absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. And this stands up against some super high-end, like really, really good highlighters. And this holds its own. It's so good. Okay, so we did pretty good. I don't feel like we did too bad. Oh, here's the Sephora Micro Smooth Illuminator in Stardust. I really don't like this. I love the Sephora brand, but this is just, ugh, it's super powdery and it's just not that good. So I'm gonna donate this to a friend. And now we're gonna move over to the vanity. That's where all the, the real magic happens. Okay, I did forget that I had a couple more over here. This, we're in the next Alex drawer over. Um, so I have some from ColourPop in here. I have Monster Hippo Fanny Pack. Hopefully we're in focus. It's so hard for me to tell you guys. Oh, wait, why do I have two Fanny Packs? Oh, well one of these is gonna get donated. And then I have Stole the Show, which is really pretty. Um, I think that's it in here. The rest of them I have up top, but I'm keeping all of these just because, like, this is my collection. Did you see me go the wrong way? I was looking in the camera when I did it. Um, and then I have this NARS Violet Atom. This is one of the multiples. I guess this would be considered, like, a highlighter blush. I don't know. But it's a really cool, like iridescent violet color. It's really neat. I don't use it enough, but it's really neat. And, oh, I think this is the only other highlighter that's in here. The Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette. This is so pretty. This is very comparable to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So if you've been wanting to try that, you can try this. It's a lot cheaper. And these do basically the same thing. They're very soft. Like if you just dip a big fluffy brush in, they pretty much serve the same purpose. You can build them up and like wet your brush with Fix Plus, but this is a really nice and expensive um, highlighting palette. Okay, now moving up to the vanity. Okay, so I have this Smashbox. What is this called? Fusion Soft Lights and Baked Starburst. This is gorgeous in the summer. This is kind of like a bronzer, highlighter, kind of like little fusion. The name is very fitting, but it's so pretty. It's like a very bronzy highlight shade. I love this in the summertime. It is gorgeous. That is not going anywhere. This shouldn't be in there. And then I have this Mally. This is the illuminating 24-7 illuminating blush. One of these is a cream. This is a cream and this is a powder. I just got this not too long ago, so I'm going to hang on to it. My all-time favorite liquid illuminator is the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. This is so freaking intense, you guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. Love this. We'll never get rid of it. 
And then that shouldn't be in there either. We'll stick her back there. That's a blush. And then I have this Lorac Perfectly Lit um, Highlighter in Luminous. They don't make these anymore, so I cannot bring myself to get rid of it. I swear I've tried to get rid of this like three times and I just can't do it. Because they don't make it anymore and it's... I mean, it's kind of pretty. Can you see that there? Yeah. So I'm keeping her. And then I have the Natasha Denona Glow Palette in... What color? Zero One Light. This is beautiful. It's a very subtle, just like soft highlighter, but I really, really like it. And then this Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. I don't know. I just, I was not the biggest fan of this. Uh, I think I might get rid of this. I feel bad, but I just don't love it. I tried. I tried numerous times. And then I have, of course, the Becca Jacqueline Hill, the little trio that they came out with, which is amazing. You have Pearl, Champagne Pop, and what is that? Blushed Copper. This is a beautiful little palette. I'm so sorry if you can hear Emma. I'm going to go yell at her right now. And I think that that's pretty much all we have in here for highlighters. So now onto the vanity. That's where all of the, like my top of the line favorites are. You see my hands going everywhere. Okay, so first let's start in here. This is where I have some of my favorites. So I have my three Urban Decay highlighters. So we have Aura, which is this beautiful pink. We have... Sin, which is the champagne gold. Well, it's not really champagne. It's like a gold gold. And then we have Fireball, which is this like iridescent, gorgeous, like orangey, peachy, pinky shade. So stunning. I love all three of these highlighters. And then the two Pure Mineral cream highlighting palettes that they just sent to me, if I can get them out. So this one is Moonlight Glow. These are really nice. They have like a very powdery finish. I really love these. And then this one is Sunlight Glow. This one, is this my favorite one? No, I think I like the other one better, but they're both amazing. And these are blushes. Oh, and then I have these Sephora Luminizing Drops, Radiant Luminizing Drops in Morning Light. These I also love. These are a really good liquid illuminator. Okay, and then down here we have my Tarte. Oh my God, you hear the kid going by on a scooter? Kid, I will whoop your ass. You better get home. Okay, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> the Tarte Skin Twinkle palette. I love this palette. I never thought I was going to love it as much as I do. Such a beautiful highlighting palette. Like, they're intense. So good. So, so, so good. And what else do I have down here? I think just Hot Sand, which you guys, no joke. This is the Hot Sand Laguna Duo. It's limited edition. This is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. I'm not kidding. I could... I'm not going to say I could get rid of everything I own and just have this, but if that happened and I was stuck with only this for the rest of my life, I'm telling you guys, I would survive. I love this highlighter so much. It doesn't look like anything exciting. It looks like it's going to be too dark for my skin tone anyway, but when you put it on, <gasps> I am addicted to this. I love it so much. I need like 45 backups. I'm not even kidding. It's so good. It's so freaking good. Okay, now moving over to my other little highlighter drawer. This is where I keep like some favorites, some new ones that I'm trying. So I have the P -P -P, the Pure Minerals Afterglow. Wait, should I back you guys up a little? Okay, you know what? I'm going to move that down there and I'm just going to hold everything up like that. Okay, so Pure Minerals Afterglow. This is a gorgeous highlighter that nobody talks about. Such an amazing highlighter. You need this. And then that is a blush. Then I have my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which I think this is just like a staple for everyone. Everyone should have this because they're... They're, how can I explain it? They're enough that you can wear it as a highlighter, but they're also soft enough that you can use this as like an all-over 
face powder, but you can build it up to be a highlighter. So versatile, so gorgeous. These are just so nice. The quality is amazing. And then I have this new one I got from Makeup Revolution. This is the Shimmer Brick Radiant. I haven't really used this one yet. Wait, can I open it? But it's really nice. I mean, look at that pigmentation. That is like, are you seeing that? That's like, yeah, this is this is going to be good. I already predicted. And I like that I can use these as like bronzer toppers. And then you have the highlighters up at the top. And this was like six bucks. Bomb. Um, I have one of my Ofra. I have both of these. You Do You and You Glow Girl. But You Do You is my favorite one. So I just keep that one in here. This is such a stunning highlighter. This was a collab with the Dupe That Girls. Um, this just has the prettiest, like, peachy gold. Do you see that? Oh, there we go. Look at that. It is a uh, freaking amazing. I love this. Um, I have my NARS Steven Klein Vengeful. I don't use this side. I guess I could use that almost as, like, an eyeshadow. But this shade is so, so amazeballs good. It's, like, super intense. You guys know how I feel about gold highlighters. Ugh. So good, I'm sorry. The moans, the moans have to stop. And then I have the Anastasia So Hollywood highlighter, which I just love this. This is my favorite Anastasia one. Any gold highlighter is okay in my book. This one just looks so pretty on the skin. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. I know so many people were so pissed off at this product, but I love this. I think it looks so pretty on. I don't care that it's super tiny, because honestly, when are you going to go through a freaking highlighter that size? Like, you're not. I know it was expensive, but I, I'm i okay with it. I love that. And then another one of my favorites. Ugh, I can't get it open. Wait, I got to wipe myself off, you guys. Let me grab a wipe. I don't want to get highlighter all over my packaging. Okay, sorry. Um, the Kiko number 208. This is actually, I think, a, it's called like a water eyeshadow. But this is so gold on the skin. It looks like you think you've died and just floated right to freaking heaven. You need this if you like gold highlighters. Go online, go to Kiko's website and order this. You will not be disappointed. And then, of course, Mary Luminizer from The Balm. This is like a cult classic. This is just like one swipe. So pigmented and soft and gorgeous. I will never get rid of this. I'm not getting rid of any of these. Come on now. You guys know better. And then Laura Geller Gilded Honey, my all-time favorite highlighter. I'm telling you, though, Hot Sand is giving everything a run for their money. But this... Up until Hot Sand came along, this was my all-time favorite illuminator, which it still is. Gilded Honey, there is just nothing better. The way that it just, like, melts into your skin, it, I'm telling you, there's nothing better. Nothing will ever beat this in my book. And then MAC, um, Oh Darling, I almost said Whisper of Guilt. I don't have Whisper of Guilt. I really wish that I did. Um, I honestly don't use this as much as I thought I would. I do love it. It's like, I mean, it is gold. Look at that. I'll probably use it more in the summer. I feel like in the winter, I kind of let her hibernate for a little. Um, it can look a little powdery if you go too hard, but I still love it. I have like four backups of this. I just, I'll never be over it. And then I might as well show these to you guys. Um, Benefit just sent me a new high beam and a new what's up, like I told you earlier. So I have those two guys. Um, I think that that might be it. Wait, I do have a couple more in here. Let me grab them. I have the two hourglass ambient strobe lighting powders. So I have iridescent strobe light, which is this guy. And then I have brilliant strobe light, which is this guy. So iridescent is more pink. Um, what was this called? Brilliant is more like white champagne. These are really nice. They're very soft. These are also ones that you can use as like a face powder. They're not necessarily like in your face hardcore highlighters, but they're very, very pretty. Oh, I also have some more ColourPop ones. I'm just going to bring them over here so you guys can see them. So I have Lunch Money, which is a beautiful, like, champagne gold. I have Parasol, which is my favorite ColourPop highlighter. Look at this color, you guys. Parasol. Ugh. 
Oh my god, look how pretty it is. It's like a peachy gold kill yourself. I mean, don't you dare kill yourself. Just punch yourself in the face. And then I have electric slide, which is also gorgeous. And nobody, I never hear people talk about electric slide, but it's this just gold. There's no other way to describe it. It's just freaking gold. And then highly wasted. Can we talk about that? Look at that. Oh, I love highlighters so much, you guys. I just can't get enough. And Wisp. Wisp is another one of my favorites. This I wear more in the summer when I'm tan, but oh man, it's so pretty. And Teascake. Teascake is another good one. It kind of looks like Wisp, but it's a little, like the tone is a little bit different. Hopefully that's in focus, because if not, I'm going to be pissed. Do I have any other highlighters over here? I feel like I'm missing stuff, you guys. Oh, um, here's another Benefit High Beam. Like, how many high beams do we need? Obviously, like, 20 of them. Oh, and then I do have the Laura Geller um, Ballerina, which is like a rose gold shade. See her right there? Really pretty. I have Peach Glow, which is one of her new ones. Stunning! And then Charming Pink. Oh, look how cute. I love this like pale pink shade. So I have those three guys, which they're obviously not going anywhere either. Um, oh, I have more stuff over here, you guys. I'm sorry, I just have crap everywhere. So I have the Anastasia Bat Glow Kit. This is another one of my favorite favorite I'm trying to change the focus highlighters this is absolutely amazing like the formulation of this the powders are so soft and they just give you the most intense like stunningly gorgeous you just want to punch somebody in the face I love this one of my favorites okay and then in here please ignore that I have like lashes just like thrown back there sorry um, in here, I have an assortment of blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So these guys in here are my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. So I have Topaz. Topaz is more of a like bronze topper. Dep I mean, for me it is, depending on your skin tone. This would be a highlight if you have very dark skin. And then we have Moonstone, which I think this is the first one that I ever owned. This is just like... A necessity it's so pretty if you have fair skin this is amazing and opal this is my favorite one opal is just it's just like the perfect highlighter shade for me I mean this is you know I can only talk about what works for my skin tone this one is champagne pop of course everyone loves this one this is Jacqueline shade I love that it has that like peachy tone to it it's just gorgeous this one is Pearl. This is another one if you're fair skinned. I think this is the best highlighter on the market for fair skin. It's very white, but on fair skin, it just looks so pretty. And Champagne Gold. I don't know if this one was a limited edition shade. I feel like it was. It's kind of a hard shade to pull off, but of course, I just have it in my collection. And then this one is rose gold. This one, do you notice I always go for the wrong end first? Um, this one is a really nice blush topper, especially in the summer if you're tan. This is really pretty. And this guy is blushed copper. Oh my god, wrong end again. This one also I use as more of a blush topper. This is another one that I'm like, I don't know, I think it's so pretty, but on the skin, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I can't pull it off. And I think, oh no, here's another one. This is the Anastasia um, Starlight Illuminator. This is another one, if you're fair skinned, that would look really pretty on. It's very, like, white toned, but it's gorgeous. I can't wear this on its own. I have to kind of mix it, like I'll do So Hollywood with a little bit of this. I'm too, like, my skin tone is too dark for this on its own. And then I have the Girlactic Face Glow in Natural. If you're looking for a highlighter that's very subtle and like soft, this is so pretty. I've even used this before on my entire face. Like if I want a super glowy look, it's 
amazing and it's very unique. I feel like I own nothing else like this. The formula of this is just incredible. And then this is the Face Glow in Bronze. I think if you have dark skin tone, this would be such a gorgeous highlighter on you. This for me is like a bronze topper. Like if I want a very, again, like a glowy look, I'll just put this over top of whatever bronzer I'm wearing and it just gives you this gorgeous glow to your skin. And then of course I have my Makeup Forever eh, Pro Sculpting Duos. This is number two. Oh, I love this highlighter. It's super gold and super phenom. And then this is numero uno. This one is more pink toned. I'm not a fan of pink toned highlighters on me. I have to be very careful because I just don't think they look that good on me. But this one I can pull off. It, I just have to, I don't know, I have to be like more fair. I can't be like self-tanned or anything. And I think that that might be it. I may have NARS, oh look, it was the first one I grabbed, NARS Albatross. This is, um, I don't know, I used to like this, but when I try to wear it now, I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I have other ones that I like a lot more than this, so... I probably should get rid of this, but I'm not going to. You guys, I did not do good at all, but I knew I wasn't going to. I just, I can't bring myself to part with anything. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Pink Quartz. This is so pretty over top of blush in the summer. Like, look how pretty that is. I could just stare at this forever. It's gorgeous. Um, I think that might be it for this drawer for highlighters. Did I get everything? I think think I did. Oh, I forgot to show these two guys, so I'm just going to throw them in right now. So this is a NARS palette that I ordered from NARS, but inside of it, I have my Love Lux Beauty highlighters. I've talked about these many times on my channel. I will link Love Lux Beauty down below. Where I'm not affiliated with her at all. Um, but I do, I did have a discount code. I think it's still good. If it is, I'll put it down below. It is not an affiliate code. These are in freaking credible. Like every color that you see, if it's green, it puts a green tint on your face, but like the most beautiful, oh, these, I'm telling you guys, these are so stunning. Nobody talks about these. I feel like she's just this small indie brand that nobody knows about, but these are such good quality. They're pigmented, they're soft, and they give you the most intense, beautiful glow. How many times have I said the word intense in this video? You guys, I highly, highly, highly recommend these. So, so good. I love every single one of them. My favorite one is probably Enchanted, but I've also been wearing, and I used this in my last video, Next Level. Oh my gosh, this puts the prettiest lilac sheen on your skin. Ugh. Bomb. Bomb. Okay, oh, what is happening? I forgot to show you guys a highlighter, so I'm going to show you now. I already have the camera like ready to like zoom in on it, so sorry. This is the, here, I'll show you guys the back of it. It's the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. A lot of people love this highlighter. It's not one of my favorites. I think I already swatched it. Yeah, I did, but here, I'll go over it again. It's obviously not matte. I mean, it does have, like, you know, a little bit of life to it, but it doesn't have that, like, hardcore intensity to it, so a lot of people like this for a more subtle highlight. Um, I don't know. On my skin tone, I just don't love it, but you may love it. Let's just put it that way. It's not one of my favorites. I feel like it looks very powdery on me. I don't know. Looking at it now, it looks really pretty. I may have to give this another go. I haven't put this on my skin in probably six months. So maybe I'll like it now. I don't know. Anyway, um, I wanted to show this to you guys because I do get a lot of questions about this because it is like a favorite of a lot of people. So I didn't want to leave her out. So there you go. Fingerprints and all. Sorry. Okay, so hopefully I didn't forget anything. I feel like I, I feel like I got everything. When I'm done filming, I'll be like, oh shit, I missed a whole damn category. But I know I didn't do that good. I didn't get rid of that much, but I told you guys, highlighters are just my thing. I, I don't want to get rid of them. I just don't want to. So I hope you guys like this video. If there are any highlighters that you guys have or love, 
that I didn't show today, please let me know because I'm always in the market for new highlighters. Um, I think you guys all know that. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you again for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to show. Whoa. Whoa. That's so good, you guys. I, don't, I, can't, I don't even want to talk about it. I can't. It's too much. My heart can't take it. You know I'm old. I could drop dead at any time. Let me live. I was kind of going for that like messy, cute look, but I don't think I really achieved it. I think it just kind of looks like, um... What the F is wrong with your hair, bitch? Why is that so loud? Do you know how many times today I've asked her to zippo the mouth out? I don't know where she gets this loudness from. I know this is a highlighter video, but guys, freaking benefit she gets on is slaying my existence. Look at this. So beautiful! This is my favorite blush. Like, possibly top three blushes of all time. Freaking dandelion, you sexy ass bitch. Shut up. Ow, I just smashed my finger. Damn you. If you're not a fan of highlighters, I mean, really, would you? Who are you? And why are you here? We can't be friends. So leave. Right now. Oh, you guys, I'm wearing hot sand right now. I'm gonna put a little bit more on because it's been, it's been three hours since I've applied. So let's just put a little bit more on. I mean, look at this. Like, <sighs> your eyes are not deceiving you. This shit is life changing. Like, your life will be changed forever. You won't even be able to go on. You'll just fall over and die. Don't die. Just fall over. Look at it. It's so good. Look, I'm just glowing from within. <laughs> from within. Mm, so pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Oh my god, why is it so pretty? I don't know. Why are you cheating like a creep? Why are you? Look at that hot thing. Look at that bitch. Sexy ass bitch. I'm just off my chain. I'm, what? I'm off my chain? Yeah, you are off your chain. Somebody let you off the leash, you damn animal. I'm off my game. Because these highlighters got me all kinds of fucked up. Like, how good is this blush? Shut up. This is my all-time favorite blush. I told you guys this before. MAC Warm Soul. MAC Warm Soul and MAC Margin. Done. Oh, and Dandelion. Top three all-time. Ride a bus. I mean, take a seat. <laughs> Ride a bus. Miss Jackson, if you missed it, missed it. Nasty bun. No man.